Hey guys, we are here at Tufts Brewery. I'm here with Keith and Chris. Uh, this is a huge facility. I love this place. Um, tell me, why did you guys pick McKinney? Of all cities that you can start your business, why did you guys pick McKinney? Well, actually we were here on a, I think it was a Saturday. Oh, a brew tour. We were on a brew tour. There's a brewery just up the street and we drove by here and the <laughs> owner was here that day. So we met him and we saw this building and we thought, this is it. This yeah. just felt good and it had the vibe we wanted and we cooked the deal. So tell me a little bit about the brewing uh, process. I, I don't know much about brewing beer. Yep. Um, so for the layman's out there who don't know, what does it take to get the beer from the plant to the table? So um, we start with raw grain and we convert the starches into simple sugars in the mash process and then um, we send that word over to the fermenter, pitch some yeast to it. So that's where all the magic happens, where it converts it to alcohol and uh, add the hops, the flavors, whatever we're doing for that particular beer, and then can it and bottle it. Excellent. So you like make the recipes, like a Martha Stewart mm -hmm. beer. <laughs> yeah. And we talk about crazy ideas in the office, and then um, I have to walk back from that office to here, and I'm like, okay, how am I going to do this? You know, and it every, every time works out. So. so, how many different types of beer do you guys actually brew here? Here, we've done over 100 here. Uh, we have uh, about seven or eight core beers that we do that are out in all the stores right now. But. And you guys do the canning, the bottling, or the kegging, or the mm -hmm. getting it into the mechanism to get it out there to the world. Yeah, it all happens here. And the big 18 wheelers pull up on the side of the building. We got to get the forklift, load them up out of the walk. -in. Wow. And how large is this facility? Because I heard rumors that you guys are moving or expanding. Tell me a little bit about that. So we're, we're moving about a mile north of here. This is a 15,000 square foot uh, facility. And in the new spot, we'll be almost 40,000 square feet over um, under roof. Uh, we have about a half acre here, it'll be four acres oh, wow. on the new spot. So outdoor stage, we'll have a full kitchen. We'll have air conditioning and heat. So it's going to be a really awesome experience. That's, so what I'm hearing, this is not just going to be brewing beer, but it's going to be a center where people could come and congregate, hang out, drink, entertainment. Because I did notice there are stages here and, and uh, things that you guys do more than just beer. So what are some of the other events that you guys actually have at your facility? We do all sorts of stuff from uh, from food events to music events to uh, car shows. Oh, wow. Um, uh, holiday themed parties, um, cowboy watching parties, sporting events. Oh, wow. uh, uh, a lot of really cool stuff. We do a ton of charity events here as well, because you know, everybody wants to have some glue, and fortunately for us, the glue is beer. There you so. go, that's a good glue. And I noticed that you have a lot of family working here. I know your son, Chris, works here as well as you have another son and a daughter. What made you go the family route versus the outsourcing to another, you know, getting those other brewers in here? Well, we started this at my house in the garage, actually. Okay. So. Um, we had we were on the driveway brewing beer and, and the kids would all migrate and they would they embraced it they loved it they loved the process um, but the cool thing is that all three of my kids were so awesome and they all have different um, skill sets okay so Chris does all the brewing and he's kind of taken to the he's kind of the chef of beer uh, my oldest son finance MBA guy he does all finance uh, and sales yeah. and then my daughter is um, uh, OU grad in marketing and so she does all of our um, our marketing so Tufts is not really just only a brewery this place kind of has like a feeling like there, you get kind of a vibe when you're here it's like a place that you want to hang out to and just just a lot of different elements here uh, tell me some about some of the unique things here at Tufts. I think it was interesting when we when we moved in here and we brought all the fancy stainless steel in. Um, we we kind of had a little bit of a of a gut check in that when you look around this area and you see the vibe that we have, it just felt right. Yeah. And it was it was where like we found something and we wouldn't it be cool if you took this here and put it up here or I'd see something on Craigslist and I'd have to buy it and put it up and it just over time it all just grew yeah. and. and uh, Kind of a car nut, so we've we've got we've got an old uh, Dodge truck that we converted into a beer wagon, and oh, we've wow. got a rat rod, and it's just weird stuff that happens, and um, that'll be the challenge in the new spot. Is yeah. we gotta we gotta evolve that there. Hey, thanks guys, thanks for having me here, thanks for giving me this great big tour.